Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, here I'm, I'm warming up <coughs> with uh, chest flies. As you can see, I did a pyramid set on this one. Um, started at 100 and then went up about three or four um, stacks each time until I maxed out at the 190, which is the heaviest weight that you can do on this machine. And it's middle of December, so I like to warm up. And as you notice, I get the hold at the end, really focus on the contraction. Over here, I'm doing the uh, decline bench. Did another pyramid set, started with just a uh, plate on each side. They didn't have any 35s, so I had to do a 25 and a 10, not that big of a deal, but really like this machine here. It's kind of like a cross between a Smith machine and a standard bench. You have total free range of motion on this, um, but the gliders there prevent it from tipping, which I really, really like, but it doesn't limit your range of motion like the typical Smith machine. And I'm gonna show you the next set on the decline bench, which ended up being uh, 225. Um, I'm, I'm actually making really good progress on the decline bench. I don't really do it that often. Normally I start with flat bench and then go to incline bench, but decided to switch it up on this day and do decline bench instead of any flat bench. Didn't do any flat work. It was decline and incline, which I really like. Um, I throw that in every, every few weeks just to keep it um, switch, switched up so I'm not stuck doing the same stuff as you can see I kind of struggled but uh, you know I'm, I'm on a cut so it is what it is you know my strength's going down but slowly but surely coming back up here I come on to the incline bench and that's a plate and a 25 on this one and as you notice I on all the bench work I lift myself up a little bit. When I do that, I'm retracting my scapula. That prevents my shoulders from getting all out of whack and going all over the place. And it also um, puts all of the stress on the chest. I'm not putting any work into the shoulders. It's all chest when you do that. So to help protect your shoulders and get a better work workout with your chest and not put any shoulders or anything into it, I really recommend retracting your scapula come over here and then I go to the uh, decline dumbbell bench and this was a pyramid set as well started with 70s then I hit 80s and then up to 90s again man anybody that says you can't make gains on a cut is full of shit because when I first started doing these I was at 50s I mean I could do 60s but 50s was where I was working now I'm up to 90s in only two months so and I'm all natural so I mean as you can tell it ain't like I look like I'm on roids or anything so as you can tell I'm all natural so making those gains on a cut you can do it okay. and these are the uh, low flies really works the upper chest I didn't do any um, regular flies because I started off with those with the warm up. Again, this was not a pyramid set. This one I just did three sets of 10 to 15. You can see I'm not using that heavy of a weight. That's because at the end, I get that pause there and really focus on the contraction. And that, that's a lot better than just rushing through it. Come over to the low, that's gonna work the middle chest. And again, you see that pause there. If you want the best workout, focus on the contraction at the end. Hold with a, about a one second pause right at the end. And that's going to uh, focus more energy into the chest rather than just blowing through it and using other muscles and everything like that. So really recommend you guys practicing that, especially if you're going high reps. So hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. This is one of the chest workouts I do. I have you know, a few that I rotate in and out whenever I get um, tired of one. So be sure to like, share, and subscribe and keep up to date.